Hey, and welcome to another edition of What's in the Box. Just released is D&D Dice Masters Battle of Theron. Uh, this is expanding upon Marvel Dice Masters, which then became Yu-Gi-Oh! Dice Masters, and is now D&D Dice Masters. And what's great about this system from WizKids is one, it's now actually readily available. You can go to a store and probably find this, which is great. But also these are all compatible. So if you go and you're like, I want Wolverine to meet up and match up with a dragon, you can make it happen. The systems totally work together, which is amazing. So this is the starter set. It is about $20 uh, if you find it in a store, but it does play for two players. It has enough for two people. And this is what is inside of this little box, right? So you're gonna get 16 of these little sidekick dice, and these sidekick dice are uh, just your, your base dice that you start with. Whenever you start a game, you have to build dice pool from that. Uh, there's eight for each side. Uh, and then you get two dice each of uh, eight different characters that are available in the core set and the starter set. Uh, and even though these are all common, because right anybody can get these, at the same time, they're not all weak. Some of them actually are fairly powerful and would normally be rated either an uncommon or a rare for their power, but because they're in the starter set, they're all rated as common characters. And my favorite is definitely this little pinkish, purplish, I'm not sure what color you'd exactly call that, but this is the Beholder. Pretty awesome that they put a Beholder right in the game. And what you're gonna get out of this is first, you're gonna get a bunch of the basic action cards and you actually can see that you get quite a lot of them. Um, and they're pretty cool. There's things like a fireball, there's a cone of cold, stuff like that. These are always laid out in between both players and anybody can use them, whether your opponent put it down or not, they can buy dice from it and use those powers in a game. They're for everybody. Then you have your own custom character cards. These are the ones that you choose who's gonna be in your army. Um, and what you start off with is you get three usually of each. So in the starter set, so you get three of these vampires, you get three trolls, uh, three human paladins, three halfling thieves, uh, three green dragons. And if this art for this green dragon looks at all familiar, and for some of this, this is straight up from new D&D 5th edition. Uh, this doesn't look like any of it is particularly original art for this series. Uh, this is stuff that you can find in D&D, in the monster manual, etc. cetera. Uh, gelatinous cube, pretty cool. Uh, and you do get a dragons. So you get a blue dragon. They are known for lightning. You get three blue dragon cards, two blue dragon dice here, uh, and you get, of course, my favorite, Mr. Beholder, and you get three common Beholder cards. Uh, and like uh, the other Dice Masters versions, uh, there is still gonna be an uncommon uh, card or a rare for each of these uh, floating out there in the boosters. So that's sort of what you start out with. You will be able to divide an army with your friend if you wanna just play just with the starters. Uh, comes with a checklist which shows that there are 128 cards in this set, uh, the majority of them are gonna be in booster packs. Uh, comes with this uh, silicon gel, uh, which I will eat later. It says, throw away, do not eat, but I've never listened to rules before in my life. Uh, of course, instruction manual, and as with Dice Masters, it's gonna come with this kind of cheap uh, paper mat. You don't really need this to play, to be honest, but it does help if you're learning the game to understand it does direct you where dice go when things happen in the game. Uh, and then these are your character cards, dice, obviously sidekick and your action dice of different colors. And just like Marvel Dice Masters, you're gonna need to put your dice into a blind bag so that you can pull out without knowing what you're drawing. And that bag is this really crappy paper bag. It's not very inspiring. Uh, and it's just as bad as it was with Darvel, Marvel Dice Masters, but you can just pick up a dice bag for like five bucks from a game store and I would recommend that because it's cool. Now I did you a favor and kept you from having to watch me open up a bunch of booster packs. Um, so here's what I got inside. I opened up eight booster packs uh, and I got some good stuff. Now, you're gonna get rarities ranging from common cards to uncommon cards to rare to four super rares. And super rares are only one in each gravity pack. And the gravity packs somewhere around 80 different booster packs. Uh, booster packs come will come with two cards, and a die for each of those cards, and they're only like a buck, so it's a great way to kind of build up your army. You know, you wanna start always with a base of the starter pack. Even if you have Marvel Dice Masters, get the, the starter pack you want. You want the base level stuff, but then yeah, get boosters. I mean, it's fun, you know, you go into a store, just buy a couple of boosters, it's a couple of bucks, open them up. Now your only problem is uh, you not see it that well maybe, but 
they are curved a little bit. Uh, so the cards come out curved from the pack, unfortunately, but put them in overnight, put a book on top of them, they will flatten out. So I got a gelatinous cube, which is nice, and I, I got a different zombie. Uh, it's, a, it's an uncommon zombie, but I got a rare were rat, which is pretty cool. Uh, I got a mummy. I'm pretty, pretty psyched to have gotten. I got three minotaurs, and one of them was a rare. That's pretty exciting. And then you're gonna get things like, you're gonna get the elf wizard. And uh, if you notice, there are a couple of different symbols now that are different from what you got in Marvel Dice Masters. Uh, one is showing alignment, uh, and one does show a faction type. Uh, and there are items, just like there's Mjolnir in, uh, and Cap's shield in Marvel Dice Masters. There are also going to be items here, which makes a lot of sense because, you know, you're an adventurer, you're going to equip yourself with stuff. So this one is a magical helmet uh, featuring a very, very scared dwarf. Uh, I got another blue dragon card. Eh. Uh, got more vampire action. Uh, and I, got, I thought this was pretty cool. I got a half dragon, uh, which is a lesser humanoid. When active, dragons cost one less to purchase, but a minimum of one cost. Um, I got an uncommon treant. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where, uh, and these are the other two minotaurs that I got. Uh, it's one of those cool things about this is that you, you get a booster and there's something you're just not expecting to be in there. That's why I don't actually like looking at the checklist because I want to be surprised. And sometimes I'll see something like a minotaur and I'll just go, man, I gotta, I gotta go try to find the rest of them. Uh, and then I got two in the same pack, actually, Invisible Stalkers, a common and an uncommon. Um, and he comes with these kind of invisible dice that don't look great, but it's kind of nifty that it's got just like little footprints on it and it's sort of got a translucency to it. Dice look really pretty. Uh, game looks really cool. And again, it's compatible with Marvel Dice Masters. So if you want to just have a DD and d adventure and do combat with monsters and, and heroes, you can totally do that. But if you have Marvel Dice Masters, why wouldn't you want Professor X squaring off against a Beholder or, you know, Cyclops and an actual Cyclops, right? <laughs> kind of getting together as a team. I think that's really awesome. And there's nothing to prevent you from doing this. This is the same game. Uh, it plays the same way. Uh, and that's, that's, I think, fantastic. And then in another month, we'll get DC Dice Masters, which is going to have all DC characters, so you can just have Superman and dragons and Wolverine and all that. So that is Dungeons and Dragons, Dice Masters, Battle of Feyrun. You can get it right now. I think it's awesome, and we will be reviewing this very soon, and maybe we'll actually mix up our Marvel Dice Masters with the D&D ones and uh, kind of have some fun with that. Well, that's it for this edition of What's in the Box. If you enjoy our videos, please be sure to click the subscribe button above me so that you don't miss any of the fun videos that we have coming up. Thanks for watching. I'm Hillary Goldstein, and I will see you next time.